How's it going gang? This is Tim from 313 and today we're going to try something a little bit different and open up some Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, I recently got back into this game with my two sons and we've been just having a blast. But they really are great collectibles and uh, they are cards for sure. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do right now is just kind of open, I'm going to open these three packs this is Throne of Eldraine, 15 card booster packs, and I've got a Core 21 uh, 15 card collector booster. This is for the collectors, and this is pretty special. They're like $25 a pack, and uh, we're going to get into this. And I also have a set booster box of 30, which we'll be opening in my next video uh, after this one. Um... I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit short uh, because my camera's been goofing up. After 30 minutes, it, it'll stop. Sometimes it'll keep going, and a lot of times it'll just stop on me. But I'm going to just talk a little bit about Magic the Gathering and where I was at in it in my state of Michigan. Uh, I used to play Magic uh, way back in the 90s when it just kind of was in its... Uh, infancy uh, I started playing when revised and well actually well it would be third edition or revised it would be the third main set came out after alpha beta and I believe is revised or limited or limited edition or revised and then fourth edition after that is when I got into it really heavy and started playing uh, in tournaments, uh, sealed deck tournaments mostly, and and then I went on to play in some booster drafts, which they didn't really have back then. That started later on, a few years later, but mainly I was uh, into playing standard, which was a format which just includes a certain block of cards that had just come out, usually four to five sets, including the main set. Um, so I did manage to, well, I played for a little while, and then I kind of got out of it after a while. I started getting too busy to play, and then uh, I kind of got back into it around, oh, 2007 or so, and started playing really heavily and playing in the tournaments, and I actually did get sponsored uh, by Our House Games here in Monroe, and they managed to sponsor me for the Nationals tournament, uh, myself and two other guys that were, we were kind of a, a league of brothers there, the band of brothers, and we kept play testing our decks to see what would go on, and I, I chose to play a mono green deck, and they were playing a red and white band. And I think the other guy was uh, playing just a straight red burn. And uh, But uh, I managed to make it in the top 25. I was number 21. I just needed one more game. I came down to one game, and I would have made it in the, the uh, finals. Um, but uh, I was one game short, or one match short it ended up being. And I would have been in the state finals but uh, uh 21st in the states not too bad uh, at one time and uh, i was registered with the uh, wizards of the coast uh and uh, uh the dci number and all that and was ranked nationally and then i just kind of got out of it for a while and now i've just gotten back into it a few weeks ago and i've really been enjoying playing with this new commander format, which is 100 cards, you get to build all single uh, cards, no more than one one card. There can only be one. And playing commander with my friends and with my sons. And I'm also getting back into playing standard. Now, they do have a game on the computer called Arena. I haven't downloaded that yet. I'm, I think that's the way where you can play and get ranked and all that. And But uh, I'm not really looking to play professionally anymore. I'm just kind of having fun with my sons and having fun collecting the cards because I do uh, have some, like, here's some of the older cards that I had, which is, is one of my favorite cards of Timmy right here. Still in pretty good shape. Um, as you can see with these rounded corners, man, beautiful card. And uh, 
I've been building a commander deck that is based around these. It's just a fun deck to put together. There's an old Aladdin card from Arabian Nights, which is cool. You gain control of target artifacts. And you lose it when he dies and goes to the graveyard. But it's a way to steal artifacts. It's pretty cool. And here's one of the new cards, which I'm going to be using as my commander. is Gigantha, the Wellspring. And uh, I'm building a deck based around that. And then another card. I had two more cards I have featured tonight. This is Nisa. And this is a the Extended Border special card. Uh, really nice. It was one of the first rare, uh, Mythic Rares that I pulled out of the promotional boxes for, for 2021 core set. And this is Nisa of the Shadowed Bows. And really nice card. I really like that card. And my... My favorite color is in Magic to play, which is, I'm a blue mage for sure. I love control, uh, but I also love green stompy decks. So I'm kind of a blue, green, and black kind of guy. I do play everything, but I really enjoy playing blue, um, blue of any color and, and one other color or three color decks. But uh, blue and black is usually my favorite to play. And what's happening now is these rogue decks, which are really great right now in standard um, and winning the championships. And I have the championship deck of my own that I play around and it's really tough to beat that deck. But uh, let's get into opening these two, three boosters here. I have two of Throne of Eldraine. We'll take a look and see what we got. And then uh, I'm gonna make another video opening the 30 booster pack set booster packs of Zend Rise of Zendikar. So, as you can see, these are just commons here. Uh, nothing great to look at. I mean, cards, definitely usable cards in the set. But we'll uh, take a look at the uncommons first. Epic Downfall, Heraldic Banner, Sierra Lorna Discerning, Fires of Invention, which is your rare there. And then I just got a basic land and a token. So Fires of Invention is a rare. It might even be banned by now. <laughs> they banned so many cards in this format. But Fires of Invention is cool. Um, might be able to use that in a commander deck for sure. Let's get into the next pack. Nothing uh, to scream about yet or anything. Uh, the Core 21 set, or, or this, uh, this is the one we're going to be... Uh, salivating over tonight but here's an adventure card of lonesome look like we've got a ding on the top of that one right off the bat but uh there's a lonesome unicorn the witching well these are just commons here get by the commons get to a clockwork servant a steel claw lance uncommon kenrith's transformation if you're seeing these okay Castle Ardenville is the rare, which is nice. This is a, you can make a, create one, one white human creature tokens for four, which is pretty sweet. You make a creature and it looks like we have a sweet bone crusher, alternate art bone crusher giant rare, which is absolutely awesome. I am. That is a nice pull right there. That's a rare foil bone crusher giant. That is really cool. That's a nice pull. Out of a regular pack so look, look at him it's the alternate where he's going to get ready to stomp on somebody i love that artwork and that's the eldraine packs all right let's get into the 15 card collector booster and these are pretty expensive hopefully we can pull a mythic rare out of this there's going to be a lot of foil cards of course there's a foil sapperling token. Looks like it's got a printing line down the middle of it. And we got some commons. Thornwood Falls. Little tap lands. Skeleton Archer. Mistral Singer. A forest. The Bolt Hound is going to be your uncommon. It's a dog for those dog decks. There's Invigorating Surge Foil. 
A nice planes foil. I like that. Ruined Halo. Very nice. That's a rare um, extended border card there. It's pretty sweet. Choose a card name. You have protection from the chosen color. It's an enchantment for two white. Really nice card there. And now we have a Shacklegeist. That's a rare there. Foil. Let's see if we can get a Mythic. There's nine lives. Enchantment gives you Hexproof. Nice. Vassery's Acolyte. A Cultivate, which I am going to be using in my next deck for sure. Ah, uh, Chandra, nice. There we go. A nice Chandra. Uh, M21. And there's a foil, Bastery's Acolyte. And Teferi's Tutelage Enchantment. Very usable enchantment I'll be using. That's going to go right into my Rogue deck there. Nice cards. Nice cards, for sure. Oh, I had one more card that I was featuring here. It was... Or uh, the Skyclave Hierophant foil, which I just picked up uh, today, as a matter of fact. It's a lifelink 3-3 for two, a white and a black. And whenever Aura Skyclave Hierophant or another cleric you control dies, you return target cleric card with lesser converted mana cost from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's good for a cleric deck, cleric theme deck, or even maybe a party deck. Is the party theme decks, but uh, we'll be looking for a way to uh, deal with that. But uh, the big pull, I've got to say, Chandra, the uh, borderless Chandra there is nice. The the cultivate, the nine lives foil, the shacklegeist. And the Borderless Ruined Halo. Great pack. Really like the pack. Not a real expensive pack. But uh, I think well worth the money. I, um, I'm happy with what I got. And that's all going to be all for now. But uh, this is Tim from 313. I uh, hope you enjoy your evening. And uh, if you... Are interested in collecting magic cards and things like that and you have any questions just uh, give me a shout out in the uh, comments and I'll answer what I can uh, there's plenty of videos on this uh, video is kind of sponsored by our house games in Monroe Michigan but uh, make sure you check them out for all your gaming needs our house games located on Monroe Street in Monroe Michigan and uh, that's all I got for tonight, and you guys have a pleasant evening.